We have a 2002 Dodge Intrepid and we're going to go through the steps in order to replace the fuel pump. Because this vehicle does not have a pressure test port, we will have to bleed the pressure off the system by removing the fuel pump fuse and cranking the engine over until it does not start. Because of the location of the battery, we will be disconnecting it at this location. In order to gain access to the fuel pump electrical connection, you'll have to remove the lower cushion on the back seat. In order to do a proper fuel pump replacement, we need to clean the inside of the tank and that will require the removal of the tank. Of the tank. We will disconnect the filler tube and the vent line. Now we can disconnect the fuel pressure line and the emissions line. Remove the tank straps and lower the tank. Before removing the module assembly from the tank, we need to clean the top of the tank to keep any contamination from getting into the tank. Disconnect the electrical connection, making sure to slide the safety tab open. Remove the fuel line and remove the fuel line retainer clip. Remove the locking ring using a spanner wrench. Make sure and adjust your spanner wrench in order that it fits the tank ring properly. These are attainable at the local parts store. With the tank ring removed, we're ready to pull the module out of the tank. Keep in mind that the bottom of the module is a reservoir. This will hold residual fuel. Be sure and capture this in a safe container. As we can see, there is some contaminants built up on the strainer. Even if your fuel pump strainer does not show these signs, we always recommend cleaning the inside of the tank. Now that we've thoroughly cleaned the inside of the tank, we're ready to install the new AirTex fuel pump module. Note the locating tabs on the bottom of the flange, also there are corresponding tabs on the top of the tank. Install the tank sealing ring, making sure to locate the pump into the proper location. Now reinstall your locking ring, tighten the locking ring. For ease of installation, you can slide the retainer clip into the end of the fuel line fitting, reattach the fuel line, Reconnect the electrical connection, making sure to slide the safety retainer over. Here we have a sample of the original style unit that could be in your vehicle. Note the ground tab on the fuel pressure regulator. When installing the new version, this is a plastic piece here now without a ground tab. The ground wire that did attach to the ground tab on the original unit needs to be taped up into the wiring harness out of the way. Now raise the tank into location Reattach the tank straps. Connect your filler hose and your vent pipe. Connect the fuel line and the emissions line. Feed the electrical connection up through the floor of the vehicle making sure to reinstall the grommet into location. Connect the electrical connection underneath the rear seat. Reinstall the rear seat cushion. Reattach the negative battery cable. Install the fuel pump relay. Cycle the key two to three times in order to charge the system, then start the vehicle.